Hi, I'm Mitra. I do DIY design for St. Vincent de Paul of Lane County. We are committed to discovering purpose and value in resources some perceive as waste. Today I'm going to show you how to make headbands out of unwanted, shrunken, and damaged sweaters. The supplies you'll need today are the sweaters, of course, scissors, chalk, pins, a measuring tape, needle and thread, or sewing machine. The final headband I'll show you how to make is called the vine. I would suggest to use shrunken sweaters for this one because there are a lot of raw edges and shrunken sweaters won't unravel. So I've already cut out one section for this. It just needs to be the width of your choice. But you do want to make sure both sections are the same width. So I'm going to take the section I've already cut out and lay it on top of this other sweater I've chosen to use and roll or cut it across. You can also use scissors for this. Once you have your two sections, you want to lay them out flat like this. Usually you should cut along the seam because that's just a lump on a headband. Okay. And you want to decide what distance you want each of these little vine sections to be. So on this one, they're about two and a half inches apart. So if you take your chalk and measure about every two and a half inches on one sweater, make a small mark like that in the middle. The mark can be maybe three quarters of an inch wide. Now when you do the other piece, you want these sections to be intermittent to these because they're going to loop through each other like this. So what you'll do is you'll pin them together at the end and you're going to start the first section right in between the two here. So the first section on this will be about here. And then you're going to measure every two and a half inches. Now do keep in mind, this sweater on the bottom stretches a little less than this one on the top. So we may want to do actually every two inches or just by a quarter inch. I'm going to go ahead and mark these every two and a quarter inches on the top. It's best if you can find two sweaters that are about the, the same stretchiness and also the same thickness. Let me go ahead and cut the excess of that off. I'm going to unpin this because for this one we want to start with this one on top because this one will thread up through that one first. So the next thing you want to do is go along these marks and cut about a third of the way across the piece of sweater everywhere you've marked. You're going to do the same for the other piece. So now that we've cut these slits incrementally, we're going to go ahead and sew. So you want the first closest hole, that one on top, we're going to sew these two ends together. You can use a needle and thread or a sewing machine, straight stitch. And again, with a needle and thread, make sure you anchor your first and last stitch with three small stitches instead of a knot. So you want to thread your underpiece through the first hole in your upper piece, like this. And then, again, your underpiece through the upper piece. And continue in this manner all the way down. So when you're finished threading it through, it's basically going to look like this and making sure that the size is correct on the head. You can pin it. This one ended up a little long, but that's okay, because it's you never know how the threading process, what size it's going to end up producing. So I'm going to pin it in the back like this, 
I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stitch that down. So what you're left with is the vine headband. And I think these look really great. I hope you enjoyed our project today, making headbands out of recycled sweaters. Just remember, when it comes to style and artistic self-expression, don't wait for others to do it. Do it yourself.